Happy Friday! What's happening? Lunch with Bomb. Here we go. Get out a piece of paper and something to write with. I got some good ones for you today. I've been saving up. Uh, topic of the day is uh, tips for healthy holiday eating. Who's excited? Who's excited to head into the holidays? I know I am. Always good to be around family and friends. But although there are some people, they're worried. They're worried. So, uh, who is this crazy lunch with bomb anyway? Uh, hey, if you're watching live, give me drop a one down below. Appreciate you. Uh, if you're watching the replay, uh, drop a two. And if this is a first time for you, uh, drop a three down below. I would love to connect with you. So, my name is Frank Baumholtz. I'm a high school strength coach and PE teacher. Been doing that for 21 years. I uh, run my own gym. And uh, I started doing these a while back. And, you know, if I could just like. You know, breathe a little inspiration, a little motivation, uh, a little bit of jump start into somebody's life. Just one person a day, maybe a week, even uh, one person, one person a year. Uh, you know, just if I have that one connection, then it, it's definitely a, a value and it's worth it to me. You know, being a, an educator uh, and a coach, you know, that's what I want to do. I want to be able to motivate and educate people because all it is, it's about education and understanding. And once you have the knowledge, you can make good choices. So, uh. Once again, topic of the day is uh, uh, tips for tips for healthy eating. So uh, one thing I want to make sure if you miss my earlier post, um, you know, we've got uh, uh, the other day, you know, I was talking about uh, uh, how many of you are struggling with your weight, whether it's gain weight or lose weight. You know, uh, maybe you're fatigued. Uh, maybe you got trouble sleeping. Maybe you got stomach issues, digestive issues. You know, uh, maybe you got headaches and migraines all the time. You know, what what do you got going on? You know, everybody's got something going on, right? And so, you know, people start thinking about the holidays and all the food we're gonna eat, and they just have no plan in place. All right, so I'm gonna drop some bombs on you today and uh, give you some tips. Um, but one of the big things is, don't forget, we got our, our 90 day uh, challenge uh, getting ready to, to go again, our next one. So if you're interested and you're like, I'm in, but you're making excuses why you can't do it, you gotta, it's the start that stops most people, folks. So if you want a plan, you want a detailed plan on what to do to not get totally train wrecked over the holidays, message me, okay? So, but anyway, here we go. Tip number one, you gotta eat real food, all right? now. I love grandma's cooking, so all, I know for a fact going into it that uh, there's going to be good food, all right? So you just got to have a plan in place, all right? So going into it, you know, there's going to be a lot of other things, uh, candy and packaged desserts and all kinds of things. You know, look at the real food. Try to eat as much real food as you can. Uh, other Next one is uh, look for the most nutrient-dense veggies that you can get, all right? The colorful ones. All right, not just the bland color one, you know, the bright ones, the bright colors, the leafy vegetables. All right, those are the ones that you got to look for. Okay, uh, next one, have a nice big glass of water. Tip number three is have a drink enough water throughout the day, but right before the meal, maybe have a little glass of water. You know, that puts a little bit something in you. And you know, if you're looking for strategies how to not overeat, uh, that's a good one. Okay, let's see. Uh, also, don't shy away from the healthy fats. You know, the you know, fat's not going to make you fat. You know, you're, if you if you eat too much and you don't do anything about it, that's where we're going to have the issue. So, you know, look for the things, you know, the fish, the the nuts, the avocados, those, those types of things that, that you can kind of incorporate. I know there's going to be turkey and ham and things like that, but try to mix it up a little bit. You know, it doesn't have to be just the, the, the standard, uh, you know, Thanksgiving, you know. Uh, throw a curveball in there a little bit, okay? So, that's a good one. All right. Give me next one here. Uh, be patient. Uh, one of the things, hey, I'm guilty of it. You know, I'm always going 100 miles an hour, and a, and a lot of times uh, we have short lunches, and we we just I, we just eat too fast. You know, so take your time, have some conversation. You know, make sure you chew your food. I was actually guilty of that the other night. You know, it's like we get home late, and you're just like grinding it out. But you know, get the holidays. You might have a day off. You know, you got family time. You know, have some conversation with them. You know, make sure that you just take the time to chew your food. Um, the other thing is, uh, you know, really focus on a little bit of time for self-gratitude for yourself and then also for the people around you. You know, Thanksgiving is always a great time to, to tell other people uh, why, why you appreciate them. The other, I, a while back, you know, I posted, uh, you know, shoot, I didn't even know who stops and watch this crazy lunch with bomb anyway, you know, but, um, you know, I just say I appreciate you. You know, if, if that's what I can do, if I can do that for you and, and I, I look in the mirror and then I can feel that self gratification, uh, you know, that's why I do what I do. So take the time to do that. 
okay? Uh, the other thing is, man, I know there's going to be crazy desserts, all right? And I'm not saying don't eat desserts. You, you know, go ahead and, and have a little dessert. But, you know, everything in moderation, right? You know, so, you know, pick your favorite ones. Have a little bit. Maybe you have a little piece of ever, but, you know, don't go completely overboard and just totally off the chain and just eat every every stinking thing in sight and then after the fact you know you're just one of the statistics you know so uh the other one my favorite one of all time is have an action plan right have an action plan what's your activity gonna be you know most people they're gonna go in they're gonna sit they're gonna eat they're gonna get all fat and happy and watch a bunch of football fall asleep get back up have a ham sandwich later in the night take another nap and then they're, they wake up the next day and they're just like, oh man, I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't have done nothing, you know, so have a plan, whether it's you got a 20 minute walk uh, after, uh, after dinner, maybe it's uh, you got a turkey bowl earlier, but just be careful, all the guys getting blown up uh, on the turkey bowl uh, Thursday, right, so, but have fun, but have an action plan, uh, have a workout plan that day, whether it's a walk, whether it's a workout, whether it's going to the gym, you know, what have you, so, you know, have something, have something in, in, uh, in place that you can, you, you know, so you don't overeat, because that's a big thing, you know, I was reading, it depends on what, uh, which study that you look at, but you have, um, you know, between six and 10 pounds, right? And it's not so much the fact that we're gonna, we're gonna indulge and we're gonna have uh, a great time over the holidays. It's that, you know, once the New Year's hits, you know, like, geez, I gained 10 pounds, but most folks don't do anything about it. So they might lose, you know, six or seven pounds, but they keep a couple pounds around. And then next year they keep a couple pounds around. Then the next year keep a couple pounds around. Then 10 years later, you know, they got 20 pounds and they're like, how did I gain 20 pounds? I says, well, you know, it, it's, it didn't happen overnight. So a lot of folks that, that go into things and they, they want to have, uh, they want this quick fix and something to happen, you know, and it's not going to happen overnight. You got to, you got to have a plan that you can work in place. You know, going into uh, the holidays is, you know, what are you going to do so that you don't overeat? What are you going to do so that you have an activity? You know, I always say, you know, a goal without a plan is just a wish. And it's vice versa too. You know, you could have the greatest intentions in the world, but if you don't have the support structure and you don't have a plan in place, which going back to what I talked about, you know, people dealing with all those issues, you got no action plan in place. You need an action plan. You got to go back and look at my earlier posts. All right. And check out, we got our 90 day challenge, total detox and everything in place so that when you go through into the holidays, you're not totally completely train wrecked, uh, from, uh, from the holidays and then you're wishing and then what do you do you're gonna say oh, I'm gonna wait till the first of the year to do it no you won't all right most most New Year's resolutions they're done by the second week in the new year anyway you know because folks don't have a plan all right so a couple things one little stat that I want to throw it remember it's the stop it's the start that stops most people and if you commit if you I don't even care what the plan is if you commit for 90 days 90 days if you commit for 90 days you have it you have an 87% chance a year later to still be doing uh, what you're doing. So it's all about behavioral change, all right? If you, if you want to focus on behavioral change, you got to do the little things. You got to have a plan in place, all right? And if you commit, you commit for 90 days. That's why we say 90 days. Uh, some guys like six weeks, but if you can commit for 90 days, uh, it is amazing what's going to happen. 87% of you are going to still be doing what you're doing a year later. All right, and just I'm gonna throw some numbers out you. One of my guys down 10 pounds. One of my gals down 22 pounds. Uh, you know myself doing what I'm doing. It's all about sustainability over time. Still doing what I'm doing, so that you know it's it's a uh, it's it, it's it's the journey, right? It's the journey. It's the lifestyle. You make a commitment to do it. All right. No magic pills. No quick fixes. You got to have things in place. So real quick, gonna review. Uh, just some tips for you. Uh, remember. Eat real food, you know, got to get those fruits and vegetables in, right? Uh, you know, take time, drink a little bit of water. Make sure you enjoy the time with your family because those are, that's the most important thing. For me, family, family is everything, all right? You know, engage in some conversation and make sure you appreciate the people uh, that you're around. Um, you know, if you're going to eat dessert, uh, you know I am. I'm going to eat some dessert. Make sure it's, you, you have a little bit, all right? You know, but don't totally fly off the chain. Uh, and then make sure you get active. You got to have an action plan. You got to have an activity plan. What are you going to do? It's going to be a walk. Shoot, even if it's going out and throwing the frisbee and throwing the football, you know, something. Get out and be active. Okay? So, kind of those are my tips for you. You know, if you need, like I mentioned, if you need something, check out my earlier post. 
shoot me a message. I'll tell you what we're doing with our, our 90 day plan. Uh, gives you an action plan so that you're not just uh, totally train wrecked, right? So once again, I appreciate all of you. All right, you guys have an amazing uh, day, rest of your Friday. And also, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. All right, you guys have a great rest of your day.